Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Oxygen Not Included and we have moved slightly further on uh, since last time we uh, we were hit together um, to be perfectly honest we have done a lot of digging uh, primarily because it's uh, extremely boring and it's uh, not very entertaining to watch so what have we actually dug out well we have taken out this whole section down here and across here we've started to uh, dig out up here all the way across here down there and down here and we're over here so overall we have um, overall we have uh, cleared out a vast proportion of our base now I've created uh, a couple of airlocks up here uh, because we have got this slime lung in this area uh, unfortunately a little bit broke out earlier um, and that is slowly dying and what about that one that again is very slowly dying um, my problem is I need it to die a lot quicker so what we're going to do is I believe we have got yes we've got a nice biome over here uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start uh, working our way across and up into this area and hopefully we are going to find some weeds warts that we can actually use um, and then we're going to plant a couple of weeds warts in this area um, as many as we can find up there uh, so that we can actually see whether or how quickly having those weeds warts up here will actually kill off this slime lung as a bit of a trial um, so what we'll get marked out now Here's our ladders. And we'll start making sure they've got no slime lung. Yeah, no, we're fine. And we'll start digging out. Let's get the priority nine. And we'll start digging out a route towards that area there. Let's cancel that one. Okay, so we're going to go in at a slight angle because I've no idea what's down here. We've got some um, wolf mite there, which we kind of want. Um, I just keep on going because this looks like it's polluted ice. Yeah, uh, we've got granite, snow, and more granite over there. So if we continue working our way up an angle. Hopefully, we will. Oh, there we go. There's the first one. Let's take out that, and we need to get down there. So, I'm going to pop in a ladder and dig out here as well. Perfect. And we've got. Th ah, perfect. We've got three there. So, once they've got into here, um, we'll be able to. Uh, deal with uh, those three wheeze warts so we can pop them into this area and uh, let's dig that out actually no I'm gonna just gonna put a planter box in here so we're gonna plant one there and one there what's the slime lung I need to make sure that there's actually um, sufficient airflow around these so my only concern is having uh, these tubes in contact with slime lung too much. Uh, so what's going on here? Right, let's lock, lock that door. And now let's lock that one. So we've got a little bit now of uh, polluted slime lung algae down there which I really don't want to be used in a uh... oh don't tell me you picked it up no, why are your door not being locked there we go it's locked Let's see what else is going on with uh, germs ah so unfortunately we've got some down here now um right I'm gonna disinfect those see what I can actually do with that just so that we can try and uh, keep on top of it and where we're at Ooh. 
Wow, we've hit jackpot by the looks of things. Perfect, so we'll have plenty of weed warts that we can use in that area. So what's our temperature doing? Nope, temperature would no temperature would be helpful. Whoa, 28 degrees. We're gonna need a number of weed warts to try and cool this area down. Whoa, look at that, 40 odd degrees. Wow, this whole base is getting ridiculous. Right. The hell? What on earth is that? Okay. Two interesting uh, things there. Let's. No. Can the Duke go past it? Not sure. Yeah, no. Hmm. I have to keep an eye on those. I hope they're not one of those voids appearing. Okay, so. And we've got plenty of sleep wheat up there as well, which is uh, good. We can start uh, building our own sleep wheat farm if we want in that area. So, what does sleep wheat use? Um, it's happy with any type of oxygen or carbon dioxide, just not chlorine. So that'll be interesting. Our little farms down here. What's the temperature doing down here? So 29 degrees. These are going to get start getting stilted soon. So as we found so many, um, I'm going to pop a couple of weasworts down here to try and cool down the area here as well. Because that is a, a bit of a surprise how that temperature has uh, shot up. Right, okay, so they're in. We can have that one nine as an uproot. We can have that as a nine uproot. And we can have that one as a nine and uproot. Cool. Excellent. So we want to put in here nine. No, can't plant. Go on, go and dig one out, please, for me. And uh, who's that? That's Catalin. Perfect. Right, so let's plant that. And we'll also copy that. To there. To there. And to there. And we'll open that door for the time being. So they can get in there. Nope, that's not what I want. Germs. Right, so we have airborne germs. So we kind of want to make sure that these plants, planters, are actually a lower priority setting for these uh, wheeze walls. Cool. So, he's on his way. Hopefully going to plonk it down here. Because uh, then that will hopefully stop the. Uh... We'll see how that does. What's uh, doing with the germs around it? So, ooh, those germs are not going down quite well, but they keep they keep increasing. Wow! I'm going to lock that door. I don't want anybody coming out here. But if you look at how... Right, that's going down one germ. Every few seconds. That's obviously got a lot of air movement around it. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll keep an eye on that. Uh, what about this side? Have we got germs on that side? Yeah, we have. So let's just auto. Macroot. Sweet. So let's get that one. 
Are we in here yet? No, we're not. That's because that's all set to five. Let's get that one out. Wow, well, okay. Alright, so dealing with that slowly. It's polluted ice, so if this temperature drops too much, then we will have a little problem. Um, Interesting, you're picking dirt out of there. What's going on with this? So we're at 3,000 germs. Temperature that is 59 degrees. Let's knock that down to uh, 30 degrees. Uh, because I don't want that overheating the whole base. Because that will be kicking off a lot of heat around there, as it is already. So uh, let's leave that for the time being. So what else have we got here? We've got more polluted walls, we've got vacuums. Slime, what about slime lung? Okay, so that's all the way around there, but nothing on this side. Perfect. Ooh! Alright, that air doesn't seem to be moving, but you can see how quickly that is dying off compared to away from the actual Weezwort. So that is uh, kind of reassuring that we I need to use cold um, around um, our slime lung areas so that that can actually use that to kill off the germs as we use heat to kill off the food poisoning. Get rid of all that lot. Uh, pop a ladder in here as well. And then we can dig out those. I think I'm going to need them. Perfect. Come on. Let's get that swept up. So we should have that going into this point here. Are we going to sweep it? There we go. Let's hope it gets planted in the right place. And we can see how that cold actually kills off uh, germs a bit more effectively. Because that we're pretty cool so we've now got 36,000 that polluted slime algae is still very very high but we can only wait let's just lock that and we'll come back to see whether I mean even the germs in in the actual surrounding area are uh, responding to the cold or to the rapid change in temperature so that'll be interesting to see. Um, come on guys, three more. So we've got two to go down here. I'm also going to plonk another one. Um, that's what I'm doing. Plonk another one down here. Now, um, we've uh, got the basics uh, sorted out. Uh, we've got a lot of space cleared. Uh, after a number of hours playing we really haven't broken into any areas with slime lung we're I'm a bit hesitant on that at the moment still until I can prove that this works and then I'll need to sort out a way to uh, clean the uh, uh, anything that comes through from uh, a slime lung area uh, with the chlorine and I'll also need to um, sort out some power uh, for the uh, the base now we know that there's a power source down here 
and as we're no longer concerned too much about uh, releasing chlorine we can enter the base we can actually just uh, start looking at uh, um, opening this section up um, nearly got rid of all that water which is good and once that's over there I know I can uh, happily open this area up because I'm not don't want to lose any water at all um, let's increase that priority Um, okay, so where, where is that? So we've got those, need to be nines, yep, nine, nine, and cancel up fruit. Uh, we'll get that, oh hang on, we'll get rid of that one. That's carbon dioxide. Now, don't worry about it. <laughs> Someone's dropped the wheeze wart though. That certainly needs to be picked up. Right, okay, so. Um, I need to get all this lot swept again. And finished off. that sweep what we can and let them get on with it right we've got 70 odd thousand calories I don't think that needs to be that high anymore but what I do think is it's time to enable sorry uh, enable that printing pod um, because we've got a couple of cots and we've got plenty of space for uh, more dupes so I'm going to build a number of more cots as well that will actually um, help with positioning of other bits and bobs um, I want to have food manufacturing over here um, so that's kind of why what I want in this positioning. Uh, once I have some more art, um, obviously I've gone overkill. Oops, let's go back on there. I have gone overkill seriously over here, but I think that is one thing that is really keeping stress levels down. And as soon as we start sending out any dupes into the surrounding area. I think that will uh, start coming into its own. So if we just get an area of where the dupe's going to sleep, definitely um, sort it out. Um, I will probably uh, take out every other masterpiece uh, soon. Uh, so that I can either get in additional lighting or something else like that. Or I'll just remove them all and reposition them all. Who knows? I'll work it, I'll work it out at some point. Um, how are we doing on oxygen? Alright, so we are actually doing quite well for once. These guys have been pumping out a lot of oxygen. Now it's all opened up properly. Um, I could probably do with um, getting some airflow tiles in situ. So let's think, think about this. Two, three. So if I do it there, so it should have two, four, six, eight in between, two, four, six, eight in between. Yeah, perfect. Let's do that. Okay, okay. And we'll pop that in there. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll just let that those hatches uh, join each other. Um, right. Two, four, six. going to be doing my food preparation down here I really do not want to have those hatches uh, too close to uh, anywhere that's uh, going to be having food now have I done this right now The answer is no <laughs> to that. All right, so that's fine. We get all that done. Aim for all those vents first. That'll just keep on top of the oh, we've got slime lung down here ah it's working its way through here right let's get in a another wheeze wart just drop him there priority nine him and gets him dug up All right, let's cancel all this collections. Reduce the work that's going on. And let me copy that settings. Fix it straight there. So hopefully these germs that are floating around we'll be able to uh, deal with. I'm going to put another one in actually as well. We do need to uh, try and do something with that. Uh, you can be a priority nine and uproot, and we'll take this ladder up, pick up that one, dig out that one, nine and uproot. All right, cool. So We'll just pop each of those in. Hopefully that will stop that spread of slime lung. Hmm. Unfortunately, it's already working its way through. Okie dokie. Well, can't have everything. Right, let's get uh, that squeeze wall swept, and the same with that one. And check if do that as a priority. Sweep as a priority is what I meant. There we go. That should uh, work its way through. Alright, so our hatch has uh, now got access to go wherever, and we can remove that tile that he's on, and he can go and live with this other hatch over here. So we've got all our hatches in line, ready to drop down to this sort of level. Um, going to have to do something about here, otherwise they'll all jump down. Which is not going to be ideal. Uh, food decaying. Sweet. 
Let's get that out of the way. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Where's that food gone? On that built as well. Alright, so we're uh, 1.3 cycles away from introducing a new dupe. Uh, is that actually... Yeah, they're going down quite quickly. What's going on up here? Mm. Still a lot of germs in this area. Temperature is key, I think. So those weeds warts are still only... Uh, What's the temperature around it? I mean, this is all very warm, so this is all 35 degrees. Those wheeze warts are fighting against the actual uh, surroundings there. So I think they're doing quite a good job in that sense. So I need to cool down the base um, as well. So that's something else that needs to be done. We're going to be working our way down here to get that natural gas uh, generator or generator that geyser and we'll have to build our um, our water um, our natural gas power plant over here somewhere which means we will have to enter this slime area and we'll also need to um, Yeah, we'll also need to, oh dear, um, work out a way to um, get our guys, well, I mean at the moment no one is, no one's immune system is compromised, which is a good thing. Um, so I think, yeah, we can yeah i think that we'll uh, call it a day for that episode um if you've liked what you've seen hit the subscribe give me your thoughts on what you'd like to see and how you'd like to see it done um because we've got um we know our natural gas generators here we know we're going to have to deal with this algae with all this slime lung in here uh, we need to cool it down as well so I'm thinking that uh, we can, we're, we're killing off this, these germs with this water, which is we're keeping on top of the, the food poisoning. And these are just starting to make a little impact in that temperature. Um, but I think it needs a lot more. So thank you very much for watching. And until next time, that's Murphy out.